Hey, 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 please like and subscribe. It's Daddy Steve. Uh, please like and subscribe. Click on the Dekiro's icon, completely free. No strings attached, apart from blood in, blood out. And nothing, no strings attached, <laughs> completely free. Daddy Steve, this. this is a talk through kind of hypothesis, just thinking out loud about this whole concept of tier six that seems to be rumbling around. And the, the certain key people, once they start saying it, then you know what? It's probably going to happen. It's probably going to happen. My, my first thought was, damn, I'm not in the mood for that. I'm not in the mood for that at all. Uh, and I actually half second thought about quitting the game if they ever thought about tier six. Um, but then I just cracked on with other things and I come back to that thought again. I thought, well, is that a bad thing? I mean, listen, I think for, for there's two things. If you're starting off, and I can remember getting your castle or your fort, you know what I mean, to, to, to the max, to level 25. And that is a lot. That's a lot of days. If I remember, it was something like two months, two months or so, maybe three months of waiting. Or you've got to use all those million speed ups or you've got to use your gems and that. Can you imagine how long it's going to take? to, you know, if you're going to get level... Listen, are they are they talking about literally just going from um, T5 to T6? If that's it, then that's cool. But if they're talking about in order to unlock Tier 6, basically what I'm thinking is you've also got to get your City Hall to... Gosh, I was thinking level 26. Say if you've got to get your City Hall to level 30 or something like that. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's it's not the, and I'm doing it as a player who's got loads of speed ups, right? Like again, I haven't had to do much building apart from doing KBK for years. So I've, I've got them, but anybody else starting off, not so much, right? Same with research, not so much. If, again, if we can go straight <laughs> from... <laughs> Tier five to tier six, well, obviously it can't be, right? There's got to be, there's got to be thinking it through, and obviously I'm not rock. Surely it's not just simple. Okay, now we can select tier six. Surely you've got to upgrade your castle to a higher level, and surely that's not going to be one level, right? And it follows on. If you're going to have to do that, then surely you have got to. It's not this. Surely, I can't remember where it is, it's been so long. Surely you've got to upgrade every single building, <laughs> every single building. So the good news is, you know, these kind of farm and lumber mill and quarry and gold mine, you get some more resources every single day on top of what, whatever you normally get. But already we don't really get enough. But let's just say we upgrade all these buildings by five then hopefully once that's level 30 as well i'm just i'm just assuming again level 30 then does that reduce the need for us to have to have a farm account i mean goodness sake we're going to need a farm account to get it to level 30 because the resource of course i'm sticking the resource requirement is just going to be astronomical but once there again once there um yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the, oh, no. just thinking, see the, the things that annoy me is having to farm every day, I still would have to, but I don't want to have to have a farm account once you reach a certain level, if to get to level 30, I don't even have to think about a farm account, I'm likely to have enough resources to get me through a KVK, of course I don't need to upgrade anything else, so yeah, I'm putting those resources, I've earned the right just to enjoy fighting, just to enjoy spending my money, which is what Rock wants, you know what I mean, on my tier six troops. And you've got to think as well, I don't, before, oh my God, I just thought of something else. I don't usually fight with tier five, I have a mixture of tier four, tier five. Now if there's a tier six, oh my gosh, man, then we will definitely need Oh gosh, and they're never going to be close enough. All these resource things to to, to give more to 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 support a tier six. Ah, oh, I wonder if they're going to do some kind of um, 
by you know pay to play. I don't want to give them idea. I don't. I don't know if they're going to do some kind of resource pack or just more resource packs because it's already crazy expensive, as you know, to fight with tier five. So how expensive is it going to be with tier six? And I doubt if these are going to cover it. See, so and I doubt if everybody's going to want a farm account. So my my first thought, which was okay, if these resource things are going to kind of lower the need to have a, a farm account, so you can have resources. That definitely goes away if you're going to have to be forced to use a blend of tier 5, tier 6. Realistically. You know what I mean? Uh, you're up against some money man. And not only do they have advanced tech, they have tier 6 whilst you're fighting with tier 4. Oh my gosh. That, that just could kill the game. It could kill the game. It will kill the game. Let's just say right now, it will kill the game because you would not have the people i'm saying right now i'm declaring it i'm declaring it you would not have the people coming through especially free to play they're going to be a million miles away from tier six i'm not saying they can't eventually get there but they won't ever have the resources to sustain it i can barely sustain levels four to five you know what i mean so oh my gosh i'm just thinking that not only the resources the speed ups Say if I was only fighting with tier five. Um, the speed ups and the resources is just too much. And if it, if it went up even higher to tier six. No, no. Listen, Rock, I know you're going to do it. And I fear that reason why they're going to do it. I think they're partly interested in new players coming through. Because I think there's a high percentage of pay to play. Free to play, sorry. They're not as bothered about new players coming through of course they love it they're not as bothered because there's a high percentage of free to play i would say um i think they already have a kind of a foundation of pay to play who they're probably thinking and monetizing thinking yeah we go tier six they're gonna be more than happy to spend to get there in a blink in order to have some kind of you know some kind of attack advantage power advantage and everybody else and they're absolutely right but I think in doing that, they're going to kill this game. Because, say if... Um, a, I think a massive percentage of people will just drop this game as if they ever went tier 6. Thinking it through. And then, does whatever remains sustain fighting amongst each other for this game? Um... I mean, you know, rock up multi, multi millions, if not billions, you know what I mean? So, um, but they're, they're only going to be interested in the product, which kind of makes them a lot of money at the same time. So I just, mm, just wouldn't do it. As I said, the, the steps for just thinking it through, like the customer journey for them and for us as, 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 um, as users, it's already too much for somebody playing this game with for us to get up to level 25 sort out your equipment sort out your iconic um maximize it um get up to vip and now it's and now you can't go to 20, level 25 you've got to go level 30. Oh, it's just too and then you go to kvk and then there's more or less an assumption that you've got to pay because there's some fools out there who've got all their tech maxed damn near damn, either maxed maxed or damn near maxed and there's a free to play who just wants to enjoy playing the game how can you enjoy just enjoy playing the game on mass when you're in a battle which is so unbalanced that you never have a chance and i think this is going to move it even further too far in that direction and they're just getting too greedy and which makes me think about Despite all the rosiness of what's going on, are they just being greedy or are they kind of cashing in? Are they cashing in? Because the reason why I say that is because I've been playing this game for like, I think about six years. About six years. And um, I'd love to find another game. I kind of thought, I think along the lines of find another game. And maybe there's other people who are kind of there two and there's probably maybe people maybe there's a little bit a little bit of fall off who knows and now they're getting desperate and just trying to cash in maybe or maybe they're just greedy don't know 
would this say, say they come out with some other kind of event they always come out with this new thing on equipment and armaments just give us more reasons to have something to do you know push that kind of finishing line further and further down the line which we can never really achieve like these as well these armaments it's very hard to get anything that's decent a lot a lot of the time and they've done nothing to counterbalance that um yeah, so why can't they just do a more another interesting event, which isn't necessarily <laughs> I know it's, going, it's it's never going to happen. Not necessarily pay to play. I was going to say, and I know that goes against the core principle of rock these days. I mean, even the gold keys that I showed you don't give you anything of use. So again, they're just trying to kind of cut the legs off these free to play. So you can't barely play the game. They're almost like you don't want they don't really want free to play in the game. But what happens then if you have these dead kingdoms? Just follow it through. Rock. Just stop being so damn greedy. I think that's all I've got to say on it. Short story, short summary. <laughs> I think it's a bad idea. Fundamental undermines the free to play, just makes it just so unattainable. It's already unattainable. And now it's put it into flaming Jupiter. It's put it way into orbit. Um, yeah. Don't know. I, I, just, I just foresee and say if this does send a lot of people over the edge. And a lot of people are isolated in kingdoms where we should just more or less dead. Because on mass people just did quit the game. I'm not saying it was it's going to happen. I'm just kind of thinking it through because it's just too much to ask. Then, then those people, what do they do? They just rattle around in a kingdom that's dead? Or do they quit the game? So it has those unintended consequences where even some of the pay-to-play will fall off, which I'm sure they foresee, but, you know, greed is just the blinder sometimes. Who knows? Be interesting to see what happens anyway. Please give me your thoughts. I did kind of, kind of wax lyrical on that. Uh, maybe there's some kind of key points that I missed. Uh, from consideration if I did put it in and you know I'll give you a big shout out who knows maybe a joint call <laughs> to debate so I've always to be honest when I did this kind of new channel I did think along the lines and I did say it before in my earlier videos to have a debate on certain key topics I'm definitely up for that so um, who knows maybe that's the come in the future have a good day daddy Steve do you like click on the decos icon click on the like thing blow down well down daddy Steve and I'm out